Gordon in Croatia writes, Hi, dear Paul. Well, hi, dear Gordon. I have been following your channel for a year, and I don't think I've missed a single video of yours since then. Thank you. I recently bought my first DAC, okay? My music source is a PC, and I use the FLAC format. To get to the point which, which digital connection to choose for connecting PC to DAC, is it coax or USB? Because the distance between the two devices is five meters or 20 feet or so. That is, which digital technology is better to use in general, coax versus USB? Thank you very much for your reply. I think in your case, coax, if you, now I'm surprised because most computers don't have coax outputs. They only have USB. So maybe you have a, a card or something inside of that PC that gives you coaxial output. The coax, for those of you that don't know, is the little RCA connector on the back that uses what we call SPDIF, uh, the uh, Sony Philips digital interface. And there are a couple of reasons why I would recommend coax. In this case, you've got a long run, and USB isn't great at long runs. So if you're going to stay with USB, I might add a USB hub or extender right in the middle, just, just to be careful. USB, unless you have a very specific DAC, like our DirectStream Mark II, which has complete galvanic isolation for USB, which is really important because of all the noise of the computer that gets into the DAC if you don't have that galvanic isolation. Um, whereas, uh, and, and USB is a two-way communication. So the, the DAC and the, and the computer talk to each other, where coax is a one-way communication link. And it still has lots of noise as well, but it's probably a better chance that your DAC can perform some measure of isolation between coax and its innards as opposed to USB, which is pretty rare to have it. Now, one thing I want to point out, <laughs> I, I have talked a number of times about USB computer noise getting into the DAC. And I recently had a spate on one of my uh, videos, a spate of people putting their ear up to the speaker to see if they could hear with USB on or off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but just to be clear, the noise I'm talking about is in the megahertz region. This is, remember, computers run at very high speeds, gigahertz, megahertz, way beyond our human hearing ability, okay? So when I talk about computer noise, this is all noise that upsets the digital audio chain. We can't hear digital audio until it's been put through a DAC a digital to analog converter, a any more than we can hear digital noise. So don't, you don't have to put your ear up to the speaker. You won't hear any more noise. It's how the sound is affected once it's been processed through a DAC. And that noise can introduce jitter, can introduce ground noise, all kinds of problems that we'd like to avoid if possible. All right. Hope that answers your question, and good luck with your system. Bye. Thank you.